Hey there everyone and uh, welcome to this new video. Uh, this is an updated video of one I did last year which is all about how to basically use any payment system with PT Distinction. Now if you just started using PT Distinction or maybe you've been using it for a while you'll notice one of the main payment processes we recommend using is PayPal because it does give you a lot of extra features. It's relatively easy to set up uh, but we also know that some people don't like using PayPal. Some people have other things they want to use, such as Stripe and WooCommerce, Go Cardless, things like that. So, how do you get around that? How do you start using other payment processes uh, if you don't want to use PayPal? Well, in this video, I'm going to basically show you exactly how you do that. Now, you still use the pre made packages the same way you would use it in, uh, when using PayPal, except we're going to set this up as we would do a free trial if we was gonna offer something to somebody for free. So that's the first thing we're gonna go and do. So we're gonna log into our PT Distinction. We're gonna to go to pre-made packages. And we're gonna go and set up a simple package in here. Now you can use one you've already got set up if you like, but I'm just gonna to go to add new package. I'm gonna call this one, uh, what should we call this? Test sign up, nice and simple. I'm going to add in a couple of groups. So I'm just going to do my welcome group. Um, just build this out just like you would uh, if you're building out any other package uh, for your client. So we're going to do this as a, a challenge, I think. We'll start this one on a Monday. Cool. Set up any remove groups. Uh, also, again, you can go to your balance options if you want to. We can put, put offline after a certain amount of time if you wanted to set that up. Set it up how you normally would and then go to the sell online option and go over to no payments. So that's one we're going to select here, the no payment option. And again, you can update any of these details. I like to remove the phone number field and I like to uh, disable the login details so I can use my own login details. But again, it's entirely up to you how you set this up. So set up the pre-made package just like you would normally do for whatever package or service you want to offer. Hit save, click OK and open that back up again. Head back to sell online, select the no payment option again. And now in your box, you've got your iframe that has appeared. So we're going to copy that like so. Okay, cool. So easy enough. We've got our iframe, we've got our pre-made package. We know now if we add that to a website, somebody can sign up, which is cool. The problem is we've got now, if we want to charge for that, we've used a no payment option. So how do we take payment? This is what we need to go and do. So you want to head over to your website. So let's go and have a look at this sample sales page that I've got set up here on my website. Now I'm doing this in um, WordPress and I'm using the Divi theme for it. Go and build out your sales page however you want to go and build your sales page. And throughout your sales page, you'll probably have a number of call to action buttons uh, all the way down your sales page. A bit about your price in here where they can sign up to different programs. Now, depending on what payment software you use, depends on how this will happen next. But basically, if you're using something like WooCommerce, you'll be able to connect your WooCommerce products to these buttons. Likewise, if you're using something like Stripe and that's integrated into WordPress or whatever website builder you're using, Again, you'll be able to integrate a product to these particular buttons. So that's what you've got to go and do. You go and do that first, work out whatever price you want to charge, whatever you want to do, and just go and get that set up. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this in Go Cardless. I'm also going to show you how to do this in the back end of PayPal because it allows you to do the same thing. But we'll get onto that in just a second. So go and set up your sales page exactly how you want to do it. Then what you need to go and do is set up a thank you page. So this thank you page is going to be a page that your clients go to once they have made a payment. Now I've got a sample one set up here. On this one I've actually got a little video and some step-by-step -step guides to explain what's gonna happen. It doesn't have to be as fancy as this. It can be super, super simple, it's entirely up to you. And as you see down here on this page, I've actually embedded my uh, sign-up form. So this is the sign-up form here that we've created. We copy that, we go over here, and we just basically embed our iframe into that thank you page. And just make it super clear that the person that lands there knows they need to fill in the details here in order to create an account. So now we have a thank you page, and now we have a sales page. And like I mentioned, you've probably gone around and connected up these buttons so payment can be made. Now, whenever you connect um, a button up, most softwares that you use for payments will have an option to set up a URL redirect or what's called a checkout redirect. And the idea is that when a person has made a payment, 
but you can send them to your own custom thank you page after. So you can create your own thank you page and send them to that. And that's basically exactly what we're going to do here. So in this example, I'm actually going to go and use Go Card List. So if I go to the Go Card List page here, uh, and I go to Plans, and I go to Create a Plan, I can basically go and create a basic plan here. So I'm going to call this a Test Membership. Select the currency I want to put it in. Select the amount. Select the interval. Again, this will be different depending on what you want to do. Fill all the details what you like here. And then we're going to click the advanced options. And you're going to look for something that looks like this, the redirect URL. Whenever you find this, whether you're using Stripe, whether you're using Square, whether you're using any website builder, whether you're using your car list, whatever it is you're using, you're looking for this option here, the redirect URL. You're then going to take your URL for your thank you page for that particular program. And then you're just going to go and paste it into that box. Then all you do is hit create plan or whatever you need to set up. And that will then give you a button URL to use. So you basically get something like this, a URL for that particular button. You're going to copy that, go over to your sales page and just paste that in to all the call to action buttons that you want to paste it into. So every time someone clicks that button, they'll get taken through to set up payment with GoCardless or whatever it is you want to use, and they'll automatically be redirected through to that custom URL. So this one here that we've set up for that thank you page. And that means people then be able to sign up to your program after they've made a payment. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, just to recap again, you set up a pre-made package with no payment on it. You go and build your sales page. You go and build a thank you page. On your thank you page, you embed your uh, sign up form, and then you take the URL for that thank you page and add it to the redirect URL for whatever payment process you're using, whatever product you've set up with your payment processor, so that when someone then makes a payment, they get directed through to that thank you page where they can complete that form, sign up that premium package, and then all the automation magic can happen inside PTD. And then all you do is take the link for that particular button and connect that to your sample sales page and all your little call to action bits or however you've got it set up. Uh, and that's it, that's exactly how you do it. That's how you use pretty much any payment processor with PT Distinction. Now, to make life a little bit easier on my blog as well, I'm going to do a bunch of new videos which show you how to do so pretty much every payment processor and software out there. We're gonna be covering things such as Square, such as Go Cardless, uh, such as using PayPal this way, using Stripe, using ClickFunnels, using pretty much everything out there in the market. So if you want to know a bit more detail about how to actually set this up for the software you're using, definitely go and check out my blog. I'll be putting new ones up there regularly. Uh, that's over at p2dninja.com uh, forward slash blog.